So again, the same thing. When you guys have a triangle and you're trying to find uh, theta, now we're trying to find theta. We're given two sine lengths, but we don't know what theta is. So again, we need to identify which trigonometric function are we going to use. First thing, identify your hypotenuse, which is 8. Then if here's my theta, the sine length that connects theta and 9 degrees is my adjacent. So therefore, this is my opposite side. So now I need to determine which trigonometric function deals with opposite and hypotenuse, sine. So I do sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse. All right? But now we need to solve for sine. So we need to undo, I'm sorry, we need to solve for theta. We need to undo, we need to undo sine. So the way to undo sine, if you guys remember, the way we undid addition would we subtract, right? The way we undid multiplication was to divide. The way we undid squaring was to take the square root. The way we undo sine is to take the inverse. So we're going to take the inverse of take the inverse on both sides. So sine inverse of sine is just going to leave us with theta. So now in our calculator, rather than hitting sine of a number, we're now going to take hit second sine, which will give us sine inverse of 3 over 8. Yes? So when you do sine inverse times sine theta, Yeah, but those, these undo each other, just like adding one and subtracting one. Yeah, because you can't, sine is sine of an angle. That's what oh. sine means. So you have to have sine of an angle. So sine inverse of 3 over 8. Anybody give? That? Wait, say that again. Is that rounded? OK. Just notice how I'm just doing approximate, right? Because that is an answer that goes on and on. So it's going to be approximate. 